right guys hope you're having a good day today the weather is lush let me know what you're doing today in the comments below we're going off to Porcona Beach in Cornwall should be brilliant looking forward to it if you haven't already hit the subscribe button bang the bell and click the like button I'd really appreciate it Porf Kerno is world famous for its telegraph station and the part it played in World War II where communications by cable was essential. It was a far safer means than radio messages which could be intercepted. Cable and wireless operated the 355,000 mile network which connected the British Empire, Porf Kerno being the most important station as it was at the centre of the entire network. The amazing little cable hut at Porf Kerno Beach has been designated a grade 2 listed building for the following principal reasons. Unique survival of a telegraph cable hut, complete with original fittings and features, contains the largest collection of historic telegraph cables and termination boxes in one place, earliest surviving intact cable hut in England, and forms part of the largest and most important telegraph station in the British Empire. Although Prof Kono is no longer an operational cable station, six fibre optic cables still come ashore there providing direct links to Europe, Asia, Belgium, Netherlands, Spain and the USA. The Telegraph Hut isn't the only gem in Prof Kono's crown. There is also the Minak Theatre. The Minak Theatre is Cornwall's world famous open air theatre, carved into the granite cliff and set in glorious gardens overlooking the spectacular panorama of Prof Kono Bay. From the beach, the ascent to the top takes you along a steep, rocky path. The views from this path are incredible though, and if the tide's right and you are able to, I definitely recommend it. From above it looks like some wandering Greeks 2000 years ago had carved theatre into the granite cliffs of Pofkona. Well, in fact, just under 80 years ago, there was nothing there apart from a sloping gully of gorse and a heather, and below that, the sea of the Atlantic Ocean. We watched a theatre group rehearse for a bit, and I snuck in a quick kiss. Midnight Theatre, what an amazing day that we've had here today. Have you ever been to the Midnight Theatre? Have you got any plans to come soon? If you have, let us know in the comments below. Add a like as well if you fancy, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, see you later.